Hey guys, welcome back. So today we are trying some weird hyped up products. Some of this stuff went viral on Instagram, Facebook, things like that. And I just had a couple... <laughs> We're just waiting on you. I've had this collection of stuff for a while now and I figured I would go ahead and do a full video on all the products that I have. Um, we have things like this mask that looks very very creepy we also have the eye candy eyeliner stencils to try out we have the peel off makeup thing Huda Beauty metallic lip products this baby foot thing and then the last thing that I'm most excited about is the Venus Silk Expert Intense Pulse Light Hair Removal System this was sent to me literally so long ago this is not sponsored at all it was just like a PR package and I was like um I love laser hair removal I currently get laser on my underarms and bikini area so I wanted to see how this felt if it felt the same so if you're interested in seeing how some of these viral products work then definitely keep watching and don't forget to subscribe before you leave let's just go ahead and get started with this video okay so we're just gonna start with this rubber mask clear skin lover so this is by dr. Jart and I love dr. Jart I have used a few of their masks before and I really see a difference with the masks that I use I'm excited to try this this is supposed to be on for 30 to 40 minutes so we're also going to do baby feet while we do this one. Okay, so I just got this one packet. It's a single use packet. Oh, and it's only $12. So that's not bad at all. This is a different kind of mask because it is a two-step process. Directions say after cleansing, which I've already done, massage step one onto skin to nourish. Open step two rubber mask pouch. Carefully remove the film. Place the mask on your face and gently press. Leave on to 15 for 20. Oh, what? Oh, good. We can only leave it on for 20. Okay. So this little thing right here, I thought it was like 30 to 40 minutes because it says it right here on the packaging. But on here it says you can leave them 15 to 20 minutes, which is good. That's good. I'm going to go ahead and take the step one. This is what it looks like right here. At first I thought this was like a sensor. So this just looks like a little jelly. Jar is not completely full. Like you don't get this whole thing full of product. So just keep that in mind. But you can see that kind of jelly texture right there. Oh, so we're just going to massage this all over feels really good on the skin it feels very cooling and I didn't apply any moisturizer or anything because I knew I was gonna apply this mask and my face feels super dry so I didn't use all of the product in the tin there's just a little bit left which it did say you can use on your neck chest arms so I'm just gonna do that now so now we're gonna open up step two so it's definitely a pretty thick mask. You can see how thick it is right there. Oh, I ripped it. My bad. Let me. Whoa, it's so cooling. Like, that kind of makes me cold. Whew. Ooh, it feels so good. It feels like it's staying on really well, too, so far. So, we've got that. I'm going to leave it on 15, 20 minutes. So, around 11.40, we'll take it off. Just hoping this stays on my face. Normally I like lay flat like this in my bed <laughs> and let it all work. But we're going to go ahead and try this baby foot product. With stuff like this, always read the precautions because you never know. And what I plan on doing is I'm filming this video on a Friday. And I'm going to still update you guys. Like I'm going to have, um, I might post this video next Sunday. So if I see any extra peeling or whatever, I'll whip my vlog camera out and show you guys. And let you know the bottoms of my feet are super, super dry right now. They're always very dry. So I have two socks that don't match because I don't waste my time matching my socks. <laughs> so I got this off of Amazon. I will leave all the prices in this video. I used to see videos on this all the time. Lavender scented. I love lavender, so give me all the lavender. So here's the inside with like picture instructions, which is very nice. Instruction manual. Little packet here. Here are the booties. After cleansing, put the plastic booties around each ankle using the enclosed pieces of adhesive tape. Maybe the tape is on the booty. Ah, there it is. Okay, so the booties are just plastic like this. And then, I'm trying to be careful here. This is so, oh, you're supposed to cut the top, okay. And you just open. It is very, it's like filled with product. We're just gonna off our feet. Ooh, it's cold. Everything on my body is cold right now. Fold excess material around your ankle and secure baby foot gel socks with tape for a more comfortable use. It's pretty thick tape too, so just going to fold this here. And then I'm just going to go ahead and put a sock on. I don't need two 
much. Oh yeah, that's a comfy fit. Oh yeah. Woo! So chilly. I swear this is clean. <laughs> and just put it on. And it helps it form. Look at the hole. Alright, I'm throwing these away. But then it forms better. So we've got our socks on. So it says to not stand or anything for like an hour, which is fine. Because actually, I need to toilet my sponges. I'm sure I can trot over there or something. Remind me in one hour to take off baby foot. We have about 10 minutes left, so I'm gonna go ahead, take a quick break, let the 10 minutes go by, and then we'll come back, massage this in, and see how well it's working. Okay guys, so it has been a little over 20 minutes. It's been about 22 minutes now, so I'm gonna go ahead and take this off. Hi, beautiful. Woo! And then, I'm just going to massage any extra product. Oh, it feels so good. It actually feels so good. Like I told you guys before, my skin felt so dehydrated because I didn't have any serums or anything on like I normally do. And now this just feels so... I feel plump. It feels cooling. I feel refreshed. I give it a two thumbs up. Alright, now we're going to move on to one of the like most viral things that I have seen on Facebook and Instagram and that is this face shield. It's the Duracell face shield patch and supposedly this is supposed to be like a product that you put between your skin and your foundation to create a barrier. So if you have acne or something or any texture this is supposed to be a little bit better for you. That way like bacteria doesn't affect you know your acne or something even more. So I don't really have any acne right now but I figured I could try it right here on my cheeks and my chin because this is the area where I have a little bit more texture and the areas where if I could I wouldn't put any product. <laughs> I just test it out on my face, you know, in different ways, and I just really want to peel off my face makeup because with this, you could peel it off since it does create that barrier. Very interesting. So I got mine off of Amazon. It's almost $30, and it is a Korean beauty product. It has a lot of the stuff on here is not in English, so just so you guys know. It's by Farmer Maker. It says it can help reduce the amount of casual sebum produced by your skin and refresh your tired skin. Okay. It's a tiny bottle. I'm not going to put this all over my face. I don't feel like that's necessary. I think it's more of like a spot treatment. So it's already kind of coming out as you guys can see. So then we're just going to put a dollop back here. I don't know how much I need. So it's just like a clear gel. Very sticky. So I'm just going to take some on my finger. I'm just going to put this on my rosacea. I do have a little acne spot here so I can try it there as well. It doesn't smell bad. It just kind of smells like medication. It's so goopy. So I'm just going to put it here. I'm not sure how much to put on. I don't want to do like a thick layer. So I'm just doing like a thinner layer. Just a little, little area right here. I tend to get caked in this area, so we'll see how this looks. So, we're just gonna go ahead and let it dry. So I'm gonna use the Giorgio Armani Designer Lift Smoothing Firming Foundation, as well as Power Fabric. I'm gonna mix them together. So you can see the areas where I put it. So here, here, a little bit in this area, still a little bit sticky. I'm gonna wait a couple more seconds, and then my forehead. We're just gonna pat this on. I'm like trying to be gentle. I don't wanna like move it around like I did on my hand. Okay, yeah, it's completely dry now. I don't think this is specifically made to help with texture, but I'm just kind of hoping it does. You can tell where it's where I put it underneath the foundation because it's very, very shiny. On this side, I can see where the separation is. Oh my. <laughs> you can see right here, kind of where I put it. Like, you see right in this area? Oh my. This matte area right here is where I don't have any, and then you go right below, there's like a line, and then all this shiny, weird texture. We're gonna keep it moving though, we're just gonna see how it looks after we've set everything, because I wanna peel it off. All right, so let's apply concealer. I'm using my regular Tarte Shape Tape and Maybelline Fit Me. It's like aging the skin like I mean it's a classic peel off like right there I feel like I'm not really surprised 
just because it is a peel off product I kind of expect this to happen like if it were to go bad this is like what I would expect to happen it's like a super dry finish like this area looks oh god it's already starting to peel up you see that okay what what what's going on there oh that's a peel up all right in there oh my I mean the forehead is going strong I don't even know where I put that thing on my forehead I'm not gonna do a complete full face since I'm trying out products and I'm probably gonna wash this off just because I'm not going out like this um, but I'm gonna use the Estee Lauder translucent perfecting loose powder I've been really enjoying this powder a lot I'm just gonna pat this into my skin with a fluffy brush because I have more products to try oh my gosh what happened look forehead looks great though it's just Oh my gosh. Wow. Yeah, I'm going to have to take this off, I think, before I do other products. I don't think I can get as far as bronzer and stuff with it. And I will say the fun part is coming because now we get to peel it off. It's already starting to peel, so we'll just go off the areas that are already peeled. Whoa. That's a solid... My rosacea looks so weird with, like other products on I mean it works it creates a barrier like this skin underneath here I mean there's a little bit of areas where I'm kind of like mm, it looks like foundation got in but for the most part I mean it looks like it created a barrier so there's that wow my face feels so much better without that stuff on there what do you guys think would you use it would you purchase it for your acne spots I feel like it's a good idea I just don't know if it's practical so now I'm gonna pick up my favorite liner this is the Lottie London wing woman line uh, liquid liner it's a felt tip liner and I've never used a liner stencil before this is cool it's, it shows that you can use like eyeshadow or whatever you want with it so we're gonna try liner on one side eyeshadow on the other this is Beth Bender Beauty so there's their info but it's called the eye candy gentle adhesive eyeliner stencils so, very cute packaging. I give them that. There it is. So you can kind of see the stencil right there. So I'm going to take it. This is the left, right side. Right side. <laughs> this part needs to be under my lower lash line. So, we're going to... I kind of want to go off of the lower one first. So that's under my lower lashes. I'm going to... I'm going to kind of lift my eye a little bit. Oh, no. Okay, let's just go in like that. Okay, that looks like it could be a good line. Huh? Since it didn't connect all the way in the inner corner, I'm just going to do my regular clear line. I'm going to let it dry for just a second. Let's peel it off. Ooh, that is sticky. That's not bad. I mean, you would have to go in and clean it up, but that really isn't that bad. I'm going to try to, like, angle it up more this time. Yeah, that's definitely angled up more. Okay. And then I'm going to... I'm not pressing it down completely just yet. There we go. That looks good. Ooh, that looks good. Now I'm going to take the Subculture palette. It's just a palette that I have right next to me. And I'm going to use a more dense brush, even though these are very intense and pigmented. And I'm going to go in with All Star on the outer part. Place that in there. Kind of just dust the shadow in. And then I'm going to wipe off that brush. And I'm going to go in with Axis on the inner part. Dust off the brush. Ooh, those two colors, though. And I'm just going to blend the two together, hopefully. All right, so now let's take this off. Ooh, it is sticky. Cool. I think it's cool. I, it's definitely thicker, but, like, look at that line. How it goes from the teal to like the maroon shade. Dude, that was a little bit better. With a little bit more practice, you could place it in that perfect area. Like this wing is much better because it's going up more. 
it's just super thick right here it works I give it a two thumbs up. I think it's cool. It's easy way to use shadow as liner to get a different look. I might, I'm going to keep these. I'm going to use them for eyeshadow. I just did a full face of makeup. I took off what you guys saw I had on earlier. I'm going to move on. So I'm going to show you guys these Huda Beauty Lip Strobes. So I took this packaging off, but this is the packaging. It comes with like these cute lips on it. Huda has like the cutest packaging ever. It is holographic as you can see. We have the shades Bougie, and then we also have Angelic. I'm probably gonna use Angelic today just because I feel like it'll go with my eye a little bit better. All you do is slide it out, and then you have your product. So I'm gonna open these up. These have been everywhere, I feel like, on Instagram and stuff. That's what it looks like right there. This looks gorgeous in the package. And then you open it up. This is what the applicator looks like. I really like that. I'm gonna swatch both. I've been really into glosses lately, like shimmery glosses, anything like that. So it says it's a strobing metallic lip gloss. It's a volumizing gleam, sculpting shimmer, comfortable wear. Use alone or on top of your favorite lip color. Lacquer your lips for all over volume and shine. Bougie, angelic. I love, I love both of these. I think they look so pretty. This one for the summertime is just everything. Let's just see what bougie looks like on the lips. I'm not going to apply any lip product. I just want to see what they look like on their... That is pigmented. Wow. They have a nice like sweet vanilla-ish scent, but that's bougie. I think it's really pretty. I'm not normally into metallic lips, but this is not bad at all. I just love this color. I, this is the kind of color that I would, I would top over like different matte lipsticks. Oh, I love it. Doesn't necessarily go with the look too well. Oh my god, but I love it. I love this color. I feel like the one that I would use the most is definitely Angelic, and Bougie is definitely more of like a going out. I would probably use it even as a lip topper, but this one I would wear on its own. I think it's stunning. Moving on, I am going to try, this is the last item we are trying, which is the at-home laser hair removal. Now, I did open the box to see the instructions and see if I had to charge it or anything but from what I can read you don't have to charge it well a you don't need any self tanner on I do have self tanner like around my ankles down but not on my actual legs so I'm gonna keep it away from that area and it's not like self tanner that I just applied it's like leftover shit I can't get off my ankle I'm gonna keep it more on my calf area and just like the middle part of my lower leg because there's no self tanner there if you've never done laser before I would definitely read this packet before you even tried it out just to make sure your skin's prepared and you're ready and you're not going to like ruin your skin. I have dark coarse hair which is why I really resort to laser. The bottom half of my legs I could shave them but if I get out of the shower and I'm kind of cold they're prickly. You know what I'm saying? Like that's why I've always considered laser. Um, actually I had scheduled my next laser appointment for the bottom half of my legs until I remembered I had this product and I was like okay I'm gonna hold off real quick and just try this out. It gives you a whole bunch of info so it has different settings on it so it tells you by your skin tone and your hair color what kind of settings you need to do and then like if you have lighter hair you know it's just it's not going to show up. We're just going to get started. I'm just going to go plug it in so this is what it looks like. It comes with that little booklet. This is pretty expensive. I saw it at Bath Bath & Beyond after they had sent this to me because they sent it to me and I was like oh this is so neat. I'm so excited to try it. Then I looked at the price and I was like they sent that to me? You guys sent that to me to try? Okay. I mean that's expensive but I'll try it. I don't know. I always get shocked when people send me like expensive things. I'm like are you sure you want to send that to me? This is the product right here. It is bigger than what I expected um, to compare to an iPhone 7 Plus. Oh, jeez. Take it out. This is what it looks like. It is fairly large. You have another cord in here. They also give you a razor, a Venus razor, which I don't like Venus razors, to be 100% honest with you. Because I do have such coarse hair, they don't necessarily shave close enough for me. So I'll probably give this to a friend or something. But they give this to you because you need to make sure that you shave and you're completely free of creams, anything like that. Always make sure you are nice and freshly shaved with a fresh blade so you can get the closest shave possible. Because it'll burn like a bitch otherwise. After I've plugged it into the wall, it just looks like this, and it's heating up. Can you hear that? So it does have like a little vent, and it is heating up. It is cheaper than going and getting professional laser done, just FYI. Since it has skin sensors, I want to see how this works. Okay. So here's my leg. None of this has self-tan on. Light skin tone, high power setting, dark skin tone, low. Okay, so I have a pretty high power setting. You guys can see how far it goes up. 
have a high power setting because it says the skin tone sensors measure the color of your skin and set the correct level of output needed. If your skin is too dark for treatment, the skin sensors will detect this and prevent unit from operating. Okay, then it says press treatment button, the device will flash and a warm sensation should be felt. If you find the treatment uncomfortable, you may reduce the light intensity using the light intensity button, which is right there. Yeah. Place the treatment window firmly on your skin, ensuring both sensors have skin contact. The both of the sides, so both of these light up, and that's how you know it's on your skin completely on both sides. So I can see this side it's lit up and this side is too. So for a gliding mode, it says press, which I'm gonna do the gliding mode. So it says press and hold the treatment button. The device will begin to flash. Move the device slowly, continuously from the bottom to the top of the treatment area to avoid missing areas. Make sure to always keep full skin contact so the device flashes constantly. Once you've completed your first gliding stroke, lift the device off the treatment area. Repeat steps one, two, three to the next area. All right, so we are lit. I'm nervous. You guys here, we're lit. Okay. Holy ah, that's definitely like regular. Okay, from someone who has had laser, that does feel like it. It just like kind of pops you a little bit. That is so crazy. You really gotta press it to make sure both lights are ready. Ooh, yeah. So every time you see it flash red, it's like a little pop, but it's nothing bad. Again, we're just doing this bottom half. Look at that self tan difference, wow. So I am using a mirror just to see if the lights are lit up on the other side. Turn this off and I'm gonna just do one leg because I'm very interested to see if there's a difference like in a couple days normally I can tell within a couple days if there's a difference this was the first time that I ever had laser again I had it professionally done it kind of just feels like a rubber band is just popping in you know what I mean I think that's so cool that they they came up with something that you can have at home there's different safety features on here as well to um, make sure that you do it correctly so I'm gonna keep you guys updated on the baby feet Thing. I will update you guys throughout the week on that as well as the laser if I noticed any difference So I will see you guys in my little update chit chat. So it is Tuesday Figured I would film an update on this foot thing that I tried the baby feet thing because <laughs> My feet look horrendous. So I don't know how I feel about this product just yet. What day are we on? I think I did it like Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. We're on day four. This stuff better like start peeling off hardcore. It also feels gross like when I'm in bed and like my sheets and everything are like grabbing the dead skin. Hopefully this is just the purging process. Like this is gross. But I will update you guys more on the foot thing. Probably like on the seventh day. Hey guys, so it is Sunday and it's a little bit longer of an update than I was going to do for my feet, but I figured I would go ahead and show you guys um, the dead skin. Look at my feet. Remember how they look? Mm -hmm. it's looking good. So the dead skin's off. They are really soft. I mean, there's some areas that are like still pretty dry. What's All that dead skin, after I filmed that last part, it started really falling off, thank gosh. It did work, I give it that. It's not like it didn't work, because it definitely did. You guys saw all the skin coming off. I mean, it was a process for like that last week. Um, but I still would probably like, you know, like if I didn't have the time to go to the nail salon, it's something to do, but I just don't like the in-between process. It kind of just like grosses me out. I even tried like really scrubbing my feet to get the dead skin off and it wouldn't come off. It just all naturally kind of fell. So I wouldn't try it again, but it does work. So there's that. And also for the laser, um, I don't notice like a huge difference probably because it's not as strong, you know, as the ones you can get at the doctors. I definitely want to keep trying it and like, keep you guys updated on it, but it wasn't too bad. So I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.